This is May June 14, paper 42, about wave particle duality. Let's read the question. Light of wavelength 590 nanometer. Okay, so we're going to have light coming, incoming this way. Okay, incident normally on a surface. All right, all right. Power of light is 3.2 milliwatt. This is P. Light is completely absorbed by the surface. Okay, so I assume that all the energy is given to the surface. So all of the light energy is given to the surface. What surface is this? Just the surface. Okay. Very vague, huh? CIE. Very vague. Okay, so calculate the number of protons incident on the surface in one second. I guess we're going to have to use power then. Power would be energy over time. So the power of light is 3.2 times 10 to the power of negative 3. And we are trying to find uh, the number of photons. So let me write here. Energy of one single photon. What is this? Uh? HF. Okay. Uh, but we don't have F. We have lambda. Okay. Change of plans. HC over lambda. Then you can find energy of N photons because we need to find N. You multiply by n, no? hc over lambda times n. How many photon is incident, ma? right? So I'm going to put this one here, hc over lambda times n. Because the time is one second. Nah, I divide by one, lah. happy? Okay, so I guess now we can find n. Okay, n would be 3.2 times 10 to the power of negative 3. Multiply by lambda, which is 590 nanometer. Okay, this one just disappear lah. It's not there. Over one lah. Okay, so lambda bring up to multiply. And then H and C bring over to divide. So I guess I'm going to steal some space here. Divide by H. 6.63 times 10 to the power of negative 34. C, 3 times 10 to the power of 8. And this will allow us to find the number of photons. Okay, so don't forget photons can be treated like particle. So if you want to find the energy on one single photon, you take Hc over lambda. N photon, Hc over lambda ta times N. Okay, so let's try to find N. 3.2e negative 3 times 590 negative 9 divided by negative 34 speed of light. I got myself the number 9.49 times 10 to the power of 15. Yes, indeed, this number have to be very big. Lah. Think about it. You are talking about many, many light particles bombarding the metal surface. So, although this power negative 3 seems very weak, but it is not. We got a lot of photons. Use your answer to A, which is number of photons. All right. Determine the total momentum of the photon arriving at the surface in one second. Okay, so how do we find momentum again? We are going to use the Planck, not Planck the De Broglie equation. P is H over lambda. Okay, so I guess this is for a single photon or one photon. So from here, I find one first last 6.63 times 10 to the power of negative 9. Negative 9? Sorry, negative 34. Copy wrong constant. Okay, divided by the wavelength, which was just now 590 nanometer. Okay, so once I find the momentum of one photon, 0.63, negative 34, divided by 590 nano, we will get... 1.1237, I guess 1.124, la. we write 1 SF first, extra SF. Kg M S negative 1. But this is 1 photon. Total momentum will be equal to N times P now. 
So the number is 9.49 times 10 to the power of 15, previously calculated. The momentum is 1.124. Ooh, so I'm going to go 1.124. Oh wait, this one got prefix, uh, children. Don't be like me. Why never read prefix? Hiya. Do you want to give extra mark to the examiner? No lah. Okay, done. So please include the prefix because you see I sus now. The number very weird. Okay, so next, 9.49. You may be wondering how can you develop the sense of numbers. Ah? Practice law, go grind past years. Okay. Negative 27. Alright. So this one will be 1.06. 666, ooh, cannot, cannot. 1.06 or 1.07, I guess. Mm -hmm. I think I'll just put 66 six, times 10 to the power of negative 11. So this momentum is supposed to be small. Why is it supposed to be small? Because you're talking about the photon arriving. So the photon's momentum is kind of small. It cannot be big. And this is why. Calculate the force exerted on the surface by the light. Ha ha! What, what, what? Say again, say again. Force exerted on the surface. This one we can understand. But the important thing here is by the light. Nani. Light can exert a force. Can. Because light, photon, has particle behavior. For example, it has mass. Okay? So because photon has particle uh, behavior, this means it has momentum, has mass, has momentum. Alright, so I guess we could use the classic Newton's second law, se uh, Newton's second law equation. Force is equal to change in momentum, delta is for change, over time taken. So I have time in one second. Because whatever this change in momentum is, it is a change in momentum during this one second. Because I get to use this one, this 9.49, because this 9.49 is for one second. So you can see this is all important. Everything here revolves around the fact that it has to have one second. Okay? So that means this one is your one. Change in momentum is 1.066 times 10 to the power of negative 11. And then you know how they mentioned that, oh, uh, the metal surface absorbs everything, so the photon is not moving already. Okay, finally, the highlighter load. So this one is for this uh, one second uh, here and another one second here. Okay, we all try to do the same timing so we can substitute. 1.066 times 10 power negative 11 is a change in momentum. I'm going to put minus 0 here if you want because it is absorbed by the metal surface. So I think from here you can just directly see that your force is 1.06 or 1.07 times 10 to the power negative 11. Okay, so yeah. Stranger things and stranger things. Miss, are you saying I stand under the light or? Like now I'm inside my room light. I experience a force, yeah, but it's so small that it's hard to measure. Lah. Okay, but there is hypothetically a force because there's a change in momentum. There's a change in momentum because there is a wavelength. Okay, there's a total momentum because there's a wavelength. And how to find the total momentum, you will have to use the quantized method. Okay, so the quantized method is HC over lambda. So energy will be in multiples of n to hc over lambda. So that was how we found the number. And then we can bring over here to multiply. One photon is this much, 1.24. n photon will be n times p. All right. So that's it for the question. Uh, nothing too scary. Just the brain trippy part is, wow, there is force on the surface. Ah, yes. But it's pretty small and negligible. Okay. So that's all for this question. Alright, I hope that this is helpful and that you will do well in your A2. Share us with your friends so that they can learn and ace A2 together with you. Make sure you're subscribed for new videos. Check the links. I will see you in the next one. 
That's Ace A2 together. Take care now. Bye-bye.